In this vlog, I will reflect on a session where I believe I could have given better feedback to an athlete. The session shown in the video is quieter than it usually is, with only 3 out of 9 athletes attending. The first mistake I make in this session is not clearing the barbell in the middle of the floor. Well, its position might not necessarily be unsafe, I should have been setting a better example to the athletes by putting it away. The male athlete's main lift in this session was deadlifts for relatively intense sets of 6 repetitions. So something I feel I did well here was not giving the athlete too many cues to focus on, as there is some evidence to support that short term memory can only hold between 3 and 5 chunks of information at a time. In the first set, I gave the athlete two cues, emphasising scapular retraction, as this is something he struggles with during Olympic lifting, which causes him to send the bar too far in front of him, and cueing this during deadlifts is an opportunity for him to practice this with greater frequency and allow greater skill acquisition. During this set, I noticed that the athlete was breaking out the knees too early during the eccentric phase of the deadlifts and hitting his knees with the bar. I don't think this is much of an issue considering this lift was done at a high intensity for this athlete, but it did lead me to cue him to hinge at the hip on the eccentric portion of the lift to prevent this happening in the next set. Here I'm reminding the athlete to retract the scapula by imagining that there's a five pound note between his shoulder blades and if he keeps it there throughout the set then he can keep them on. I'm cueing the hip flexion by asking the athlete to push his hips back as far as possible. The external cue works well and the, the athlete manages to maintain good, good scapular retraction throughout the set and the internal cue works to an extent as the fault is still present although not to the same magnitude as it was in the first set. When this is considered in the context of the literature on internal versus external focus of attention, this made sense. Porter et al. found that an external fo attention focus resulted in athletes achieving a greater standing long jump compared to an internal focus. Although the movements are different, as the subjects in the study were untrained with no previous ju jump training, it suggests that the cueing rather than training history was the influencing factor and the results could potentially be generalised to some extent to most movements, such as the deadlift. In light of this, it would have been more appropriate to cue the athlete to focus on maintaining a straight bar path rather than pushing his hips back. By maintaining a straight bar path, the athlete would be forced to hinge at the hip to avoid hitting his knees on the way down and moving the bar around his knees, thus breaking the straight bar path. An alternative method of providing feedback would be utilising an augmented feedback strategy to provide a knowledge of performance. This has been defined as externally presented information about the movement characteristics that led to the performance outcome. The use of augmented feedback has been shown to be superior to both internal and external attention focuses during jump performance studies. More recent literature has examined the combination of knowledge of performance and an external attention focus compared with other feedback methods on counting movement jump height and recreationally active adults. The combination of these two types of feedback was found to elicit the greatest counting movement jump performance compared to all other conditions. Therefore, if I was dealing with a similar situation in the future, I would use both augmented feedback by a knowledge of performance combined with an external attention focus. In this situation, it would mean cueing the athlete to try and maintain a vertical bar path throughout the movement before they commence the set, and during the set providing feedback as to whether or not this objective was achieved. Overall, I feel this session went well as I planned for the athlete to set a rep record with this weight, which he did. However, upon reflection, I should have made sure the area around the platform was clear, not just the platform itself. Finally, in the future, I think I'll utilise an external focus of attention when providing an athlete with movement cues and a knowledge of performance augmented feedback strategy to maximise the athlete's performance when providing feedback during the set itself. Thanks for watching my vlog.